In this video, I'm going to help you understand what a classical education is and what it's all about. So whether you want to use classical education and homeschooling, or you're just trying to find out more information about it with the idea that maybe you'll enroll your child in an online classical academy or maybe a local classical academy, this video is going to help you. So my name is Jackie and I am the founder of Homeschool Think Tank and host of the Homeschool Think Tank Parenting Podcast. Now before we get started, I want to let you know two things. First of all, there is an article that goes with this video or podcast episode. So check in the description or the show notes beneath to get the link that goes with this video and you will find much more helpful information, including curriculum and online resources. Now, the second thing I want to let you know is while I am a homeschooling consultant and I am a certified life coach who specializes in helping homeschooling parents, I am not an expert, so to speak, in classical education, but I can be extremely helpful to you because what I've done is I've done plenty of research to help you understand the basics and know what this is about. Now, I will tell you, when I started homeschooling my kids, this is actually the approach that I started with, and it did not work overly well for my family. Um, one of my kids, this just was not the right learning style for her. I sort of feel like the other child, I, she definitely is an avid reader, and I would say a lover of history, somewhat because we did start in this style of homeschooling. So there are pros and cons to a classical education, just like with any style of education. And I'm going to share those with you in this video. So you'll see me glancing at my notes from time to time to just make sure I stay on track and I give you the information that is going to be most helpful to you. So in brief, classical education is a traditional learning model that is based in ancient Rome and Greece. And educating your children classically includes extensive reading of the great books, which I'll explain in a moment, and a study of the seven, seven liberal arts, which I will also explain in a moment. So the seven liberal arts include grammar, logic, rhetoric, geometry, arithmetic, music, and astronomy. Now the classical education model is designed to cultivate virtuous and wise human beings who seek the truth and now know how to think and what to do. So let me say that again, because it's really important. The classical education model is designed to cultivate virtuous and wise humans who seek the truth and know how to think and what to do. So classical education began in ancient Rome and Greece with philosophers like Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, and St. Augustine. As a result, a classical education model utilizes the Socratic method. So in using the Socratic method, the teacher asks more questions than they answer. And by using this method, you can help your child or student learn how to think. So before we move on to a more thorough expl explanation of the seven liberal arts, I want to share with you the varying definitions of the great books. So one definition of the great books is a reference to a very specific collection that Encyclopedia Britannica produced and curated, curated and produced. Now the great books can also refer to various books that modern day scholars agree are the essential foundation of literature in Western culture. So either way, a book must be important to Western culture to be considered one of the great books. Now, when we're referring to the seven liberal arts that are grammar, logic, rhetoric, geometry, arithmetic, music, and astronomy, those can actually be separated into two categories. One is called the trivium and the other is called the quadrivium. So in the trivium, we have grammar, which is the rules of language, logic, which is a proper or reasonable way of thinking that is based on truth, and rhetoric, 
which is the ability to communicate well through the written or spoken word. Now the quadrivium includes geometry, arithmetic, music, and astronomy. So geometry is the oldest branch of mathematics, which includes distance, shape, size, and space around objects. Arithmetic is the basics of math, including adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, raising powers, and the extraction of roots. Music is understanding the rhythm, melody, and harmony to appreciate or create vocal or instrumental sound. And astronomy is the study of sun, moon, stars, planets, and galaxies. So again, the trivium and the quadrivium make up the seven li liberal arts. And the trivium includes grammar, logic, rhetoric, rhetoric. The quadrivium includes geometry, arithmetic, music, and astronomy. Now, in referring to a classical education, the word trivium can actually be used in two different ways. One is as we just spoke about when we're referencing grammar, logic, and rhetoric. Now, the other way is to describe different stages of learning. And in essence, there are three developmental stages of learning, which are the elementary, middle, and high school years. But more specifically, the grammar stage, which is the early years of learning, which is first through fourth grade. Then the logic stage is fifth through eighth grades. And then the rhetoric stage is ninth through 12th grades. Now, a classical education depends on this three-part process that trains the mind. So in the early years of school, students are spending their time absorbing facts and systematically laying the foundation for study, for advanced study. And then in the middle grades, they're learning to think through arguments, so debating and having more conversation about things. And then in the high school year, students are learning to express themselves. So this is a classical pattern called the trivium. And now I've sort of paraphrased some of that from Susan Wise Bauer's book, The Well-Trained -trained Mind. And this is like the Bible of a classical education. So if you're interested in learning more about a classical education, I really suggest that you read that book and probably just purchase it. But there is a link to that book in the article that goes with this video. So again, check that link beneath this video or if you're listening to the podcast. It'll be in the show notes and you will find a link to that book. And we always appreciate it when you use the links that we provide. So basically until the early 20th century, a classical education is pretty much what was used to educate children, at least in America and in Western culture. But that has been shifting over the years. So there are pros and cons of a classical education. So let's start with the pros, the benefits of a classical education. There's an emphasis on core subjects, which includes an intense study of history. There's also a vast study of reading and classical literature. A classical education produces strong readers, writers, and speakers. Math, science, and music are all core components of a classical education. The study of Latin, Foreign languages and fine arts are incorporated into a classical education. Classical education is an excellent approach for kids who learn well through reading and listening. And conversation and critical skill, thinking skills are well developed with a classical education. And a classical curriculum is designed to help children develop good moral character. So these are all benefits of a classical education. But again, as with any approach to education, there are pros and there are cons. So here are the cons of a classical method of education. The classical education model needs to be combined with education in technology and modern skills. Reading is focused on books from, a West, from Western cultures, which is fine, but it should also incorporate books from Eastern cultures. That way your children are reading books that show different people's experiences. If children are pushed 
too quickly or too far beyond their current abil abilities, they may develop a disdain for learning. So you don't want to over push your kids, which it is easy to do with this style of education. A classical education model is teacher driven and may feel overwhelming to homeschooling parents. Parents may need to hire tutors or enroll their kids in classes to meet the requirements of a classical education. Also, this can be a difficult model for children who learn better by doing and moving. Because remember, it's mostly based on reading and listening. And a classical education approach may need to be adjusted for kids who are struggling to keep up with that or children who have special needs. So it is a very rigorous and focused <laughs> curriculum. Now, whether you choose to fully integrate a classical education model in your homeschool, I would suggest that you might want to incorporate elements of it. For example, you may want to incorporate a lot of reading in your homeschool. Clearly, you're going to be incorporating math for your children. So you'll most likely be incorporating some elements of a classical education in your homeschool, but be willing to be adaptable and adjust the curriculum to meet the needs of your child. All right, I wanna mention that in the article that goes with this video and podcast episode, you will find The Well-Trained Mind, so that link is there, but you'll also find quite a few other books that you'll find helpful if you want to adopt a classical education model in your homeschool. And also you'll find various online curriculum and basic textbook type curriculum for a classical education model as well. So definitely check the link that goes with this episode. All right, finally, I want to mention to you that I am a certified life coach and a homeschooling consultant, and I help you with the how-tos of homeschooling, and I can help you with the day in and the day out of homeschooling your kids. As a certified life coach, I can help you not only with just day-to-day -day challenges with homeschooling your children, but I can also help you with other areas of your life too. All right, that's it for today. Check the link that goes with this episode. Live and learn your way. My name is Jackie, and I am your host of the Homeschool Think Tank Parenting Podcast and video channel. Bye-bye.